Hello on the next episode. In today's video I'm going to repair Nintendo Switch OLED which came in for the error message repair. So the console was previously molded by the statics and after a short period of time something went wrong and the console now give us some error messages. Alright so let's fix it. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is a company that offers PCB prototype and assembly services. Whether you are a hobbyist, a student or a professional, you can find the best solution for your PCB design and production needs. PCBWay has more than a decade of experience in the field of the PCB manufacturing and has over 20,000 active customers. They have a fast turnaround time, competitive pricing and high quality products. Another feature that makes PCBWay unique is their gift shop, where you can buy and sell hardware products, do it by yourself, electronics and kits. You can find a variety of electronics modules and boards for their genuine price, or you could use the PCBWay currency, which is called Beans. You can also get some free gifts from PCBWay, such as t-shirts, stickers, badgers, etc. You will find the links in the description. PCBWay.com you can find the link in the video description. And now let's get back to our switch. Okay, so this is our hero today. I'm going to press the power button. And the battery is critically low. Let me just plug the charger. Is it charging? No. Let me just use my meter. Let's have a look now. All right, so this is no good. So it's taking only 5.3 volts. We should have here 15 volts because I'm using the original Nintendo charger. So I'm going to just flip over the plug and what we have, we have the same five volts and it's not charging. We cannot see anything here. All right, so I'm going to reboot into the original firmware. No. All right, so we are not able to put it into the original firmware because the battery is dead and it's not charging. Do I see any progress? You know, it was 0.0. .0. All right, let's go. Oh. We've got some custom firmware here. Is it possible to put it up to the atmosphere? No. Uh, so the console is not charging, but my customer told me that he had some error messages and it was the same in the custom firmware and the same in the original firmware. So it looks like the charging port is. All right, so now we haven't got any signs of light. So that means we need to unplug the charger from the wall, plug it back again. Okay, so I, I, I think it's definitely the charging port. Let's have a look under the microscope. You know, the charging port looks good. But I know they've got the OLED, they've got different charging port than normal switch. And sometimes the power line is shorted to the ground straight away. And when I plug the original charger, the original charger just goes off straight away because it's detecting the surge. Okay, so let's disassemble this console first. The SD card. All right, so I, I removed all screws. Let's disconnect the antennas. Okay. All right, so what we can see here, so we can see the latest installation of Instinct. As you can see, this is the V6S Instinct NX. And from this point, what we can see so it's got the magnetic relay here to reset the console without opening it. And as you can see, this is the latest job done by the statics. Do you know statics? This is his channel. So he's describing this installation in this video. It was done one month ago. And we've got exactly the same here, except he didn't connect, you know, the reset points here from the USB port. Instead of that, he used the magnetic relay here. All right, so what's wrong with it? So we've done the test and it was taking five volts on each side. So that means it's no good. It should take 15 volts. So I suspect the port, even if the port is in good visible condition, you know, I cannot see anything wrong with it, but it might be faulty. Yeah? So first step, you know, I can use a small meter just to check all connections. All right, so it's testing now. And as we can see now, two points are not connected for some reasons. Two points, the pin number five and the pin number 20. 
All right. Let me try the USB C meter, the current meter, one more time. I'm going just to unplug the charger from the wall. All right, let's test my charger. All right, so my charger and meter is okay. So let's plug this in here. Weird. All right, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time anymore. Let's disassemble this completely and have a look. All right, maybe before I disassemble this completely, I will just plug the normal battery charge enough to start the system, the firmware, the SD card reader and the SD card. So now I'm connecting back the SD card reader and the second battery. Hopefully it's charged enough to run the system. We will see. So I'm going just to press the power button. It's glitching now. Green light. We are in the hackathon. And this battery is also weak. 8%. All right, let's try to boot it up. What I'm going to do. Just use the reboot and OW option. Hopefully it will show us the error code. Oh, yes. All right, so this is the 21010.001. So that means it's telling me it's the uh, power management IC. Disconnect this. All right, so let's disassemble this completely. Okay, so we have the motherboard out. Let's zoom in a little bit more closer. So what we can see here in the new one. So the first thing what I can see is that this motherboard was modded by using the Kamikaze method. So the Kamikaze method doesn't need to, you know, the NAND adapter to be soldered here. So he found another way. Let me just wipe this thermo face. Now it's much better. All right. So as we can see here, the C point is here. He scratched the board, three layers, and he got access to the dot zero point. So it's here. And also what I noticed is the point B is here instead of here. You see, usually we take the point B from here. But now the new method, we can use the point B from here. We just need to scratch a little bit motherboard. And we've got all points on one side of the board, so which is useful. Just wondering what's that for? Why he left the wire like this? I can't understand, you know. It's not soldered to any pin here, just lying on the on the chip. I don't know. Alright, but this is not my job. My job is to fix the console. So let's measure the area around the M92 chip. You know the Karikaze method is very risky. You need to scratch the board gently, no rush into have the very sharp tool. All right, so the multimeter is in the beep mode. And now I'm checking the cups around. Okay, it's good. Okay. Oh, so this is no good. We got short on both sides, so that means the chip is faulty. And here also. All right, so we've got completely shorted M92. Just wondering if this will solve our problems with this. Just wondering why, you know, that chip has blown so quickly, you know? Maybe the charging port is no good. All right, let me just replace the M92 and we will see. All right, so the chip has been prepared. So now we need to replace it. All right, so the chip has been soldered. Okay, so let's plug our USB-C meter. Still nothing, you know, it's weird. All right, I'm going to disconnect, you know, the charger from the wall again. No, still not charging. Let me take another USB-C meter because, you know, it's weird. The same. Nope. So next step, we need to replace the charging ports. But let me use this tool. Let's see if we can see any difference. In the same points are showing here that they are in red that means there's no good let me check you know the area around the chip again maybe it's a chip again hopefully not hopefully not okay the short is still here on this cup and this chip is blown again i think hmm all right so do you think this charging hold caused the problem with the chip because i i think so at the beginning it was giving us five volts on each side now it's like shorted to ground completely and it blows me you know the m92 chips every single time when i plug the charger so let me just 
check the fuse uh, and replace the charging port. The charging port is the problem. You can see here, soldered one end of this relay to the ground. Good. Let's check the fuse here. And the fuse is good. Fuse is good. Let's prepare our charging port. All right. All right, so let's add some solder on the point. Up air, 470 degrees. All right, so let's solder our points. melted our relay hopefully it will work if not i've got another one to replace so no worries about this all right so multimeter in the beep mode let's check this first that relay can you hear that the relay is still working so it's good need to remove some excess of solder here all right so let me check if something has changed around the m92 the new chip is still shorted so we need to replace it again still the same okay so let's let's replace the m92 again all right 470 degrees airflow 100 let's do it again All right, so the job has been done. Let's check now before I plug anything. Can we see any difference? All right, so there's no short anymore, like in the previous case. All right, first I'm going to test with my smart meter. And look at that, got all green. So that means everything should be all right. I'm just worrying about to plug, you know, the charger. All right, so what we need to do this, we need to check this. This is this is moment of true. I've I've already reset the charger. All right. Three, two, one. And yes, we've got 15 volts. It's good. Let me just flip the plug over. Test it. Yeah. Now I can I can see the difference, you know. All right. So the problem was the charging port, which was shorting out our m92 power management ic so this is guilty that was only the problem all right so let me just put everything back together and see if it's charging the battery okay all right so it's time to test it i know the battery this battery is very very flat but let me just plug this into the charger all right so it's booting up to hecate and now now we've got the charging sign finally here as you can see here the bottom let's flip over the plug go to the custom firmware not yet the battery has to be charged a little bit more all right so as we can see the battery is charging very very well there's no issue with it so the switch has been fixed okay so the main reason why the nintendo switches uh, displayed error messages it was the problem with the faulty m92 power management ic but it was faulty because of the charging port actually the charging port was shorted somewhere and when i replaced first time you know the power management ic it was blown again when i just plugged the charger yes but before you know at the beginning we could see that it was taking five volts on each side and then went completely off causing the short on my charger i had to unplug the charger from the wall every single time when i tried to test the console and yes we could see the new way to install the chip showed by statics and it's quite quite nice method you know quite nice method but the main problem is to expose the dot zero point which is the under the three layers so i don't recommend to anyone to do this because you know i can see how badly the switches are damaged by the customers when they try to just install the 
mods chip by himself so this is a very very hard method like he called it kamikaze yeah so <laughs> you can kill your device permanently or you can make it work so it's it's up to you all right thank you for watching please like and subscribe and see you next time